What is up guys, my name is Vix, and in this video I thought I'd show you guys my method of farming those damn chests to find those damn treasure keys, which, you know, don't want to spawn for me. I've opened about 200 of those damn chests, but they won't spawn. But essentially what you're going to want to do is, is come to Venus, and Venus is a great planet because there are two locations where the, um public events can happen where those chests, you know, have a chance of spawning. This is one location in the Ember Caves where I am right now, where the chests can spawn, but the great thing about it is, that location is very close to the Citadel, where it is another location where the public event can spawn, which can give you a chance at opening these chests and getting a treasure key. So as you can see here, what you can do very easily is bounce back between the two locations, save time, and look which one actually has the event going, because they happen at random intervals, and you can just finish one event and uh, come over to the Ember Caves and look at that! There's a ship here already waiting for me and uh, it is the public event. So, bounce back between the two locations is really useful. It saves a lot of time and you can uh, access a lot more of those public events and open a lot more chests. Now, another great way to speed things up is by using the Scorch Cannon. And basically what you want to do is place a mine on the ground, wait for the enemies to fall down, time it absolutely perfectly and you can kill every single enemy and speed the public event up 10 times faster. This method is really useful, spread it around because a lot of people are just spamming the scorch cannon. So, you know, place them on the ground, kill everyone at once, and the public events will go 10 times faster, and then you will have more time looking for those damn chests. But once you've killed everyone, the chest will spawn. And once the chest has spawned, what you're gonna wanna do is, is find the nearest exit location. Basically, when the words come on your screen that you've changed location, you want to go there and then make your way back to the chest as fast as you can use your fastest sparrow use your fastest hunter legs whatever you can speed things up because i think the max amount of times that i've got this chest is twice but if you're lucky i think you can possibly get it three times if it's in a really good location now the chest locations are really important so i thought i'd show you the locations on the ember caves public event run for those damn treasure keys so what you're going to want to do is the first location where the chest usually spawns 90 percent of the time for me is by the caves and pretty much on this on the end of this platform where i'm going to shoot is where the chest will spawn that is one of the most luckiest locations you can get because essentially you can go through the cave and then change you know go to the exit location and then you can come back to the chest and you know try again for another treasure key if you fail to get it the first time. You can possibly do that three times because it's so close. This is the second location where I'm shooting where the chest can spawn. The third one as you can see uh, where I'm going to shoot again is behind this like massive boulder or rock if you want to call it that. Uh, and the fourth and final location on the Ember Caves public event chest run is behind, uh, ba basically on the run to the Citadel, you will find this chest. Essentially where I'm going to shoot right now is where the chest can spawn. It's a really sneaky location. What I like to do is when I finish the public event, when I've killed the last enemy, I like to look behind the enemy and see if the chest has spawned there because it's, a, you know, because... As you can see over here, I can easily just turn around and see if the chest spawns once I've killed this guy. Uh, finally, uh, a good tip for you guys is to, you know, use arc weapon. Arc weapons are really useful. I'm using the Thunderlord. That works really well because all the enemies usually have those bloody blue shields on. So arc weapons are really useful. I really recommend them. I hope these tips are useful. If they have been and you do find a damn treasure key because I haven't and I've been damn farming for ages. But if you do, be sure to leave a comment, let me know that this method works for you and it's useful. So, uh, thank you for watching, hope this video has been helpful and I hope to see you in House of Wolves. Very well.